quality control for HIV-1 rapid test for recent infection using the Asante HIV-1 rapid recency assay test kit. Quality control for Asante HIV-1 rapid recency assay test kit. 1. Quality control samples for negative, recently infected, and long-term infected samples. 2. DTS or dry tube sample solution PBS 0.05% tween. The equipment used consists of the Asante HIV-1 Rapid Recency Assay Test Kit in which each test strip are separately sealed inoculation loops and buffer solution tubes. Additional equipment that needs to be prepared including laboratory marking pen, timer, infectious waste bag or biohazard bags, blotting paper, paper towel, 200 microliters pipette and pipette tip. Before getting started, check the test kits and dose only the unexpired test kits which have been stored in specified temperature range 2 to 30 degrees Celsius. If the test kits have been kept refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, place the test kits at the room temperature for at least 30 minutes before commencing the testing process. Before starting the testing process, dissolve the dry quality control samples. 1. Put 200 microliters of DTS PBS 0.05% tween solution into each of the test tubes of dry quality control samples. 2. Lightly tap the tubes on lap bench 3 to 5 times. 3. Mix each sample well with the Vortex mixer for 10 seconds. 4. Let the samples rest for 5 to 10 minutes. 5. Mix the samples again with the Vortex mixer for 10 seconds. 6. Check to see if the samples have completely dissolved. If not, let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes and mix it again with the Vortex mixer for 10 seconds. 7. The samples should be tested within the day that they are dissolved. In the testing process, universal safety precautions must be applied and keep the test area clean and tidy. 1. Collect test items from test kit and assemble other accessories. 2. Label patient or specimen ID number on the sample buffer tube. Remove the lid, discard into a biohazard bag. 3. Remove a specimen collection loop from the vial of loops into the kit. 4. Dip the round end of the loop into the quality control samples. 5. Transfer the loop full of sample directly into the open sample buffer tube. Spin the loop in the tube to thoroughly mix the sample with sample buffer. 6. Discard the specimen collection loop into a biohazard bag. 7. Open the foil pouch and see if there is a bag of desiccant. If none is found, discard the whole pouch and use a new test strip. Remove the test strip from the foil pouch. Be careful not to touch the middle part of the test strip while doing so. Label ID of the quality control sample at the tips of the test strip. 8. Insert the test strip into the liquid in the sample buffer tube with the arrows pointing towards the liquid. 9. Let the sample buffer tube with the test strip stand on a rack. 10. Start the timer and wait for 20 minutes. At the end of 20 minutes, remove the strip from the sample buffer. 11. Let the lower end of the strip that carries the buffer solution touch the paper towel to drain the excess buffer. 12. Lay the strip flat on the bench and read the results immediately. How to read the results of the Asante HIV-1 Rapid Recency Assay Test Kit If there are three color lines on the control, C line, the verification, V line, and the long-term, LT line. The test result is interpreted as a long-term HIV infected specimen. If there are two color lines on the control, C line, and the verification, V line, the test result is interpreted as a recently HIV infected specimen. If there are one color lines on the control C line, 
the result is interpreted as a non-HIV infected specimen. If there is no line on the control C line, or if there are a color lines on the control C line and a color line on the long-term LT line, but there is no line on the verification V line, the result cannot be interpreted, retested again. Quality control sample testing should be done each time a new lot of kits is used to verify the reliability of a new HIV testing system. Or additional tests should be done when the test kit is not stored in a temperature range specified by the manufacturer 2 to 30 degrees Celsius. And these are all the steps in the whole procedures of testing dry quality control samples to detect recent HIV infection by HIV-1 rapid test for recent infection. Hopefully, this video will help you follow the correct steps 